I think it's a bit of a relief rally, maybe that the, the, the performance wasn't even worse. Uh, but yeah, as you said, the revenues were weak. Uh, we had a uh, kind of a terrible quarter for fixed income. Um, you know, not too surprising given the, the volatility, and, and one of which you know we could characterize as a as a bad uh, volatility quarter, not a good volatility quarter for banks, and that the the direction was largely one directional uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, straight down. So that was difficult for banks to make money, and and mostly a risk off uh, trade as well. So when when uh, investors move into cash, the banks are not making money on the other side of the. Um, transaction. So, so yeah, I think the, a bit of a relief rally wasn't even worse. Uh, as you said, the earnings did, did come out uh, a bit better than expected, uh, thanks to some cost cutting, uh, a little bit better on the uh, credit quality uh, side, and of course that tax rate uh, much lower, and that's uh, not going to be sustainable, obviously, into uh, 2019. I mean, the tax rate, according to some analysts, accounted for about 10, per 10 cents of that EPS on the upside, Stephen. Uh, you know, when you take a look at the rally that's seen in the other banks in today's session, would you be inclined to fade that rally? I'm mean, just wondering how transferable, how, you know, how much of this uh, city halo effect can last as the banks report their own earnings throughout the week? Right. Well, you know, city is, is unique. This, this quarter, obviously, they, they tend not to report first in the uh, among the large banks, uh, and I don't uh, find them to be a particularly good bellwether uh, either for the rest of the banks. Uh, they have a uh, much larger exposure to emerging markets. Uh, they can sometimes zig when the other banks zag. Um, they're also not exactly high in the league tables. They're you know, fourth in, in global M&A. They're fifth overall in investment banking. Um, so not a not a particularly a great uh, lead in I, w I would say uh, but but having said that they are second in in global debt capital markets so you do want to you know set up and take notice on particularly on the, on the debt uh, capital issue. So issuance, why uh, why is the stock moving up so powerfully today if if what you say is mm -hmm. is the case and if they had uh, what was it a 21 percent drop in fixed income revenue. Right. Uh, well, again, I think it's that it's just that re that earnings number that uh, mm -hmm. that came out as a slight beat. You would expect. Uh, to, because of the leverage factor, if they uh, it came up weak on, on revenues, that they would have had a, a much worse uh, sort of position here on, on earnings this, this quarter, and that just wasn't the case. So they were able to make it up, uh, essentially, and that, uh, that bodes well. And, you know, I will say that uh, some commentary on, on the call also uh, may, may have helped. Uh, City is, is definitely is not seeing the type of slowdown um, that you hear a lot of uh, in terms of market commentary today. They're not yeah. seeing a, a slowdown in, in, in loan growth. They're not seeing, you know, they're seeing uh, still continue good credit quality. So, you know, the market seems to be uh, talking itself into this uh, much, much broader and weaker slowdown than, yeah. uh, than, than is actually being seen by bank managements right now. Stephen, before you go, just going back to what happened on the fixed income side in the fourth quarter, I don't understand how they finally get volatility and it's bad for Citigroup and presumably then bad for the other banks. So did they lose market share? Well, how can it be that finally they get all of this volatility and their, you know, their profits from that, their revenue falls so much as a result? <laughs> right. Well, again, it's this notion of good volatility versus bad. So, uh, yeah, and this can just the way it transpired in the fourth quarter, you had a straight down market. They, they can make money when markets go up and down, uh, but it's just difficult to make, more, make money when it's, when it's uh, solely almost in one direction. Um, that's number one, and then you get you get liquidity that that dries up uh, as well during the quarter. You don't have uh, e easy uh, partners on both sides of a transaction, and uh, so it's 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 largely that uh, that effect and that risk off of, of folks moving into cash, where they just don't. Uh, you can get one sale, but but they're not moving it to some other other asset class.